The following contest is set for one fall. And it is for the PCW Cruiserweight Championship! Introducing first, to my right, the challenger. I lost the biggest match of my career and life. It truly was. I billed it as a lifetime of work. I put a ton of pressure on myself, but rightfully so. Pressure creates diamonds. But after the match, when the dust settled and the atmosphere changed, I was pushed in front of a camera, told to smile and take photos. I just felt completely demoralized. I felt sorry for myself for a good two minutes until the children lifted my spirits. And to my amaze, they still had faith. If my journey has taught me anything, it's if you fall down seven times, you get up eight. I have too many supporters to prove right. Okay, okay 10 squats, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Surrounding myself with good people, having fun and working hard at our wrestling academy back home in Blackpool. I am truly blessed to be in a position to give help, support and opportunities to all in our community in many unique ways. My goal is to continue to motivate, inspire, provide hope and happiness to as many people as I can. But it's these children that continue to inspire me every single day. Great strength. I met her on the last show and her story is absolutely incredible to say the least. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. You good? Look at that, walking on frog work. Wow. I'm coming in. How do you say? You okay? I'm What's he say? You okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Saber had major back surgery, like spinal surgery, at 48 hours old. Um, she Good. then had um, hydrocephalus, so she had a VP shunt fitted in her head. Um, she's had meningitis, she's had bronchitis, rhinovirus, and then a collapsed lung, so she was intubated. She's had COVID. Um, yeah, so she's overcome pretty much quite a lot. The spinal bifida is like a neural tube defect. So it causes a gap in the spine um, and then you have to have surgery quite early on. So when the baby's born, normally within 48 hours, they'll have surgery just to repair the spine. Um, sometimes it can be the spine is hanging out of the gap and a cyst can grow over. But there are actually a couple forms of spina bifida. There's quite a few actually. So you can get close spina bifida 
where there is a gap but the skin grows over it and then you can get the myelin linger seal which is what Ava and Hudson have so that is where there is a gap in the spine um, and the spine, the spinal cord can come out and a cyst grows over it which causes a massive cyst on the back and that's where they require surgery really quite soon because the cyst can burst which then can become life threatening so yeah um, the, the, with spina bifida as well um, you can some people are in wheelchairs some people walk with frames and aids others can defy everything and walk like Ava um, yeah so there's, there's many different things that come with spina bifida but that's that's for Ava, cool. it's just she's like yeah. a miracle. Ava is a huge fan of like Rossi Rascal, mainly because of her three-year-old brother. Um, absolutely idolises herself. Um, Ava has now started chanting Rossi Rascal. So she'll say Rossi, Rossi. Um, so it's a big thing for her as well to be able to come and see you as well. I want to keep that going for her. Um, the cool thing was. Uh, for me, like I thought I was a tough guy. I thought I was tough until you told me the whole story, and I was just like, wow. So, even though I've only like known Ava, what a week is that? You know, that's my inspiration right now. It's it's phenomenal because I I thought I was a tough person, you know, fighting judo, fighting wrestling, but I'm not nowhere near as tough as Ava. Thank She's you so gonna much. Be the top Especially when Shay cut a promo on me on the last show and he doesn't even have the balls to turn up and 
fight me in my town. So, I don't even know where to go. To be fair, I probably shouldn't say this, I've had my fair share of fights in this building. Not proud of them, but we live and learn. So, let's just do an open challenge. Anybody, anybody that wants to fight in Blackpool, I'm up for it, I'm game. Anyway. Okay then. Open challenge by Rossi Rascal. Do we have anyone who wants to fight Mr. Blackpool? I'll do the talking from now on, you absolute ingrate. Get off my stage, huh? I can't say I'm going to be more motivated and dedicated, because that is genuinely impossible. But I am fired up, ready to go, I've been swimming with sharks since day one, and now we continue chasing gold. <laughs>